Hey, and welcome back to Options Made Simple. We're getting into class number three, which means we're gonna start talking about option pricing. Now, option pricing is one of the more complicated subjects as it relates to options. That's why we've dedicated an entire class just to this subject. So here's our agenda for this lesson. We're gonna talk about how option pricing works, talk about understanding the premium, then that's gonna lead us to our conversation about the Greeks, and then we'll wrap it up with some examples and some homework. So let's get started. As we look at the option price, you know, you come into an options chain and you, you might look at these prices and wonder how do we come to these conclusions of what an option should be worth. For example, if you look at this chain, you see quotes of $1.32 by $1.35, you know, $2.53 by $2.58. Well, who's to decide? What are these numbers actually worth? And when we think about option pricing, we have to really get specific because there's a lot of different moving components that come in to determine this price. So the first component you need to understand is that there's actually two values that add up to give us the option price. One component is what we call intrinsic value, and one component is what we call time value. When you take intrinsic value and time value and you add it up together, that's how we get to the option price. And so each of these components, whether it's intrinsic value or time value, each of these components have subcomponents that we're gonna look at here, but together, intrinsic value plus time value gives us the option price. So let's start talking about intrinsic value. That's actually the easier one to understand. Intrinsic value is the built-in value of an option. I often illustrate it here with a rock because the rock is a symbol of solid, right? And intrinsic value is solid. It is tied in to the actual intrinsic value of the option's relationship to the stock. It's only going to increase or decrease when the stock increases or decreases. And so if the stock goes up, your intrinsic value for a call will go up. If a stock goes down, the intrinsic value for a call will go down. It's directly tied to the movement in the stock. It is not impacted by time to expiration. And this is a really important concept to understand because when we start trading options, one of the components that's working against us is time to expiration. Well, intrinsic value is not impacted by time to expiration. And so the more intrinsic value we have, the more solid that option will be. You do want intrinsic value, and the reason you want intrinsic value is because at expiration, it is only intrinsic value that remains. If you're, you're trading an option, any option, when you come to the actual moment of expiration, if you choose to hold the option up until expiration, at expiration, the only value that remains is 100% intrinsic value. And so if there is intrinsic value, then that's the value of the option. If there's not intrinsic value, then the option is gonna expire worthless at expiration. Let's look at the formula here for determining intrinsic value. It's really simple. It's just a function of stock and strike. The strike price of the option and the stock price itself. So if you're looking at a call option, the formula is the actual stock price minus the option strike price. And the difference there is your intrinsic value. If you're looking at a put option, you're gonna flip those and it's the option strike price minus the actual stock price. And that leaves you with your intrinsic value. If you wanna simplify it, just think about it this way. It's the difference in strike price and stock price, whichever one you're looking at here. Difference in stock price and strike price. So let's do some examples. Uh, look over here, this is a put intrinsic value. So the actual price of the stock is 181.71. That's the actual price that the stock is trading for at this time. Now let's say that you've got a put option that's at a 185 strike price. So you have the right to sell the stock at $185 a share, but the actual price is 181. Well, think about that. If you want to, if you want to put, you have the right to sell. We have the right to sell at 185 and the stock's all the way down at 181. Would you rather sell at 185 or would you rather sell at 181? Obviously you would rather sell at 185 because it's more valuable. That difference between the stock price and the strike price is intrinsic value. And the number for this particular trade setup is $3.29. So this scenario has $3.29 of intrinsic value. Now with the call option, it's gonna be a little bit different. It's just gonna, you're gonna flip the numbers upside down here. So the stock is trading at 195.82 per share. And let's say you come in here and you have a call option at 190. Well, 
Would you rather buy the stock at 190 or would you rather buy the stock at 195? Most people would rather buy at 190 and sell at 195. And so the call option has value built into it. It's $5.82 in the money is what we call it. It's got $5.82 of intrinsic value. It's got built in value there. And that value is only going to change if the stock goes up or if the stock itself goes down. So while the intrinsic value is somewhat obvious, the thing that may not always be obvious is why the price of the option is more than intrinsic value. Take a look over here. If you've got an option, in this case, it was the 190 call option, and we had $5.82 of intrinsic value, but look at the premium. The price on this is $7.15. Why would the option price be so much more expensive than the actual intrinsic value? And the answer is, that's your time value showing up. Your time value is added in to your intrinsic value, and that's how we come to that option price. And so when you have your intrinsic value, which in this case was $5.82, and you add in whatever the extra premium is that we just saw there, it was a couple dollars or so, that's how you get to your option price of $7 and whatever the change was on that. That extra component is called the premium. That is the time value component. And time value is a little bit more complicated. Intrinsic value is somewhat simple. Time value, however, that's the premium. That's like the premium you pay for your insurance premium. And we call that time value here in the world of options. Time value is the part of the option that disappears with time. The closer you get to expiration, the less time value is going to be in there. And it goes down the closer you get to expiration. So you, get, you start off at one point, and as you get closer and closer to expiration, every day the time value is diminishing just a little bit more. And the truth is, this is one of the biggest reasons that people lose money with options. People simply don't understand the time value component of their option price. So here's the way that we figure out the time value. You say, well, how do I know how much of my option has time value? Well, here's how it works right here. You take your actual option price and you subtract the intrinsic value and what's remaining is your time value. Let's come over here and look at an example. Let's come back to the one we just looked at a minute ago. We've got an, an option to buy at 190. The actual price is 195.82. So our intrinsic value is $5.82. Well, if we come over here and we look at the option chain, remember we looked at the 190 had a $7.15 premium while the stock was trading at 195.82. We've got $5.82 intrinsic value, but that's 715. That's a different number. So what's the difference? Well, we come down here, $7.15 minus $5.82 leaves us with $1.33. So in this case, $1.33 is the time value. If we were to add those two up, $1.33 is the time value. $5.82 was the intrinsic value. You put those together, and what do you have? You have the actual option price and that option price in this case was $7.15. It was the time value added to the intrinsic value. And every option, no matter what option you're trading, is always going to be priced as the intrinsic value plus time value. Now the percentage of that premium, the percentage of that option price may be different. It may sometimes be 100% intrinsic or 100% time value, but it's always going to be time value plus intrinsic value equals your option price. So in the next set of videos here, what we're going to do is we're going to start to understand how these components come together.